This is TechnoSpark Go 2022 and today I would like to lead you through the procedure of setting up parental controls for this device. So to start, you will need to launch settings, then find and enter the accounts category. From here, make sure to remove all the Google accounts that you have added if you have any to begin with. Then get back to the main settings page, open Google section this time. Then go for the parental controls, get started, child or teen, next. Now you gotta sign into your child's Google account, so let me quickly do that. So proceed with the Google login as you would normally do in any other case or scenario. Then once the account is successfully logged into, select it from the list over here. Next enter or log in to another Google account, this time yours or parental one or also the account that you are going to use to supervise your child's activity. So you know the drill input the email address then follow it by entering the account password after you do that you should be forwarded to the following step that is the about supervision page which you gotta scroll all the way down and at the bottom input the child's account password once again then tap at the agree button onwards at the allow supervision dialog window, tap at the allow option and wait for the child and parent accounts to be linked. Once this step is finished, you gotta tap at the next button to your bottom right. Then managing apps tab you can skip. You can also enable or disable some of the apps if you do not want to see them, but you will be also able to do that later on and uh, with much more convenience and precision. So there is no need to stop at it or well, stop to manage those apps right now. But if you want to, you can absolutely do so. It's up to you pretty much. Uh, the same applies for the filters and content settings or age filters, content restrictions, whatever. From here, if the device that is highlighted over here or uh, written in the bold font is the same phone or tablet that you are going to use to supervise your child, you can tap at the install family link button and the required Google family link app will be automatically installed on your parental phone. Or you can just uh, skip the step and do and download the app manually. That doesn't matter, makes no difference at all. In my case, the, the phone happens to be the same uh, I'm, I'm planning to use as my uh, parental controls device. So I'll just go for the automatic way this time. So here's my Nokia. Uh, we should see that the app download process started or actually we shouldn't sense the in my case Wi-Fi for some mysterious reason was disconnected from so I'll manually connect device to internet and then let's see whether the download will be started or not yep as you can see the app download was successfully initiated so now let's wait for it to be finished once the app is ready you're gonna simply go ahead and launch it obviously in here, the only important step is to sign in the app with the parental Google account, so be cautious at this step. And in the app, you can do all sorts of stuff, uh, such as setting up the daily limits or downtime routine for your child's device. Uh, at the app limits control, you can 
absolutely tailor your child's app experience starting from enabling or disabling apps uh, as well as setting up the app usage limits so for instance you can make it so that your child will not be able to use the TikTok app for more than hour daily and as well as just generally monitor your child's app activity uh, the following control that is the content restrictions allows you to uh, control your child's uh, age restrictions and well, age filters for the list of following apps then you can also configure your child's google account settings manage devices if you have multiple people to look after you can also monitor your child's live location if the uh, location access is set up at the child's end or at the child's device so you can also do that before well wrapping up the uh, parental control setup uh, or we can also see your child's device usage highlights as well already so that would be it as far as setting up parental controls on this device goes we highly appreciate your attention thanks for watching and bye bye